Hey guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Folktale. This is a early access game on Steam right now, guys. It's brought to you by Game Foundry, and it's going for right now 1874. But that will change depending on when you find the game, when uh, when it you know finally comes out. It normally goes for 24.99. Now, this is a really really cool game, and it has a lot of aspects to it that I really like. It is still in early access though, so there are some little bugs that you might run into. One of them is this grinding noise from one of the trebuchets that is going off. You can hear it from no matter where you are on the map. I think it might be this one. Uh, I, I did kill everything that was over here, but another spider spawned. One of the other things that I've kind of run into is these walls. These walls, I realize they take a while to build, but I had three workers sitting over here. Right now there's two workers building it. They were over here on these walls for... I don't know, the last 20, 30 minutes? I don't think it's supposed to take that long to build one of these walls. They built the other ones a lot quicker. Right. So if I take these guys off, my way. And they will go ahead and reassign themselves to something else and uh, go off and do something like that. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's supposed to take that long to build one of these walls, and uh, I can't get them to do really anything else until they finish it. I mean, I actually had to physically take somebody manually and tell them to come over here to kill this thing so that uh, they would be, or not kill this thing, but build that building so that they would have a chance at uh, you know finishing that off and I could actually progress a little further in. I'm gonna send to both of my guys over here and uh, destroy be right there, darling. destroy this uh, spider so we can see if we can get this trebuchet to stop uh, firing because I think that might get rid of the noise. Now I did load out of the game altogether, exited out of the game and then came back into it, but the moment it loaded up my save game, that noise started up again. One of the other things that we've done since then is the bakery got done. I went ahead and assigned two people to it, and our storehouse has gotten done. I went ahead and assigned two people to that. I also have a lot of gold on me, so I went ahead and uh, went in and did all the research on these buildings, whether I needed them or not, because there's really no downside to that from what I can tell, unless the spots that you need research for, uh, you can only have so many now. This one I didn't do any on because I wanted to show you guys what that looked like. We have grinding which is going to increase bread production by one, so we want that. We also have the uh, weighted scales or weighing scales, which is going to increase bread production by one as well, so we're going to do that one. I went ahead and uh, bit the bullet and did the research on my woodcutter hut because it seems like there's plenty of wood around. They're not really running out of it. I increased the uh, surroundings, and of course they always plant more trees down as well, so I think that's going to be fine exactly where it is until we finally upgrade it. I went ahead and did the exact same thing with this one. I went ahead and did all the research I could possibly do. But the hunting lodge I went ahead and waited on so you guys could see because we hadn't looked at that at all yet. So we have bows which unlocks bow crafting recipes. That sounds kind of cool so I'm going to go ahead and increase that. It's only 75 gold for that one so that one's pretty cheap. Increases production of raw meat by one and increases production of raw meat by one for tracking. So animal empathy and tracking will both do the exact same thing. You also have stocking, which will also incre increase the uh, the raw meat. And then the wilderness law, which is actually something I might want, which is leather by one. You also have range finder, which is production of raw meat by one. Now that noise you're hearing is that little update letting you know, oh, it's completed grinding on the uh, the windmill. Not the windmill, was it? Uh, and so not that one, battle. it's uh, the, the bakery, that's right. Village. The enemy is in our village, where is it at? Where is this enemy? I don't see him. It could mean that one of those things has spawned. No, it's right over here. Okay. So let's see. Did it kill my little worker? It might have killed my soldier. I wasn't over here to kind of pay attention to what was going on. So that could be definitely a thing. Nope, she's still over here. She's still on her way. Let's go ahead and uh, smite it. Kill it off real quick. Okay, nothing there. Is there anything within the range of these trebuchets to keep firing? Let's see if it stops. Okay, so that one has stopped, and that one has stopped. Okay, but the noise has kept going. Again, early access, you're going to run into issues like that. Same thing with these walls not being able to be finished. Let's see. Oh, trebuchet over here firing, I'm sure. Yep, sure is. So let's, let's bring our guys back over here. Oh, you can see right here, he's going for the... He made it because I left the gate open. I could close that gate, and he wouldn't be able to get in here, but... Leaving that gate open will allow them to uh, to walk right through and just kind of attack what's on the inside. Should have watched that. Should have paid attention. Let's see. How are you guys doing over here? Have you built... 
Let's see, how much bread do we have? And he keeps moving my stuff around in here. Does not like the way I kind of move things around so I keep track of where everything is. We got a decent amount of bread. Not too much, though. We got 25 people and 60 bread. As soon as we start getting more people, they're going to eat more of that bread a little sooner, a little faster. So I'm going to wait on doing too much other things uh, before we get to that point. We do need to put down a... Where is it? A weaver's hut. And I'm going to put that over here somewhere because we got a little bit of room. Let's do it right in here. That's the best placement right there. And uh, we do need to assign somebody to that. Otherwise, it will never get done. Let's come over here and we're going to take somebody off of building a wall. What walls are they working on? Still working on this wall. It does seem like it rises up a little bit here and there. It could just be my imagination. So it could be that they actually are building that and it's just taking forever. Yep. But uh, at this point, let me click off of that. I'm going to get the guy on the inside because you're going to be closer. Okay. Uh, how do we get him to do the... Can I not click on it? Right. Am I not clicked on anybody? You know, he's going up there. Right up. Where is it? It's constructing a wall. Seriously, dude. You guys love your walls, right? Ah, oh, come on. I had it just a second. There we go. Constructing Weaver Hut. Now, once they do the Weaver Hut, I still have to do the cotton farms right over here. So let's do some of those. Or the cotton fields right there. And we'll do one more because we don't need too many of those to start with. Not until we start upgrading our houses and we have more room and more workers definitely to actually do that with. And that guy is going to go straight into working at that Weaver's Hut. So that he can get that going. Over here, we do need to put down some other farms. Let's see, what farm do we need? We need the uh, the brew. Produces honeycombs, which can be used by the monastery for brew. Let's put that down. I think it goes with this one right here, if I remember correctly. Either way, it should be close enough to both of them to be able to be used. And they're very, very small, so you can put down a lot of them. There you go. Let's see if he will finish this up for me. Yep. Go ahead and... Uh, completed. On my yep, way. you're going to work. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of the stuff you got. You got carding, which increases the production of uh, cotton by one, or the bolts of cotton by one. You also have water power, which increases the bolt of cotton by one as well. So definitely something to consider there. 187, we're getting a little high. We need to... Uh, as soon as we get to 200, though, man, we're going to be able to upgrade so many things. Let's see, what do we got? Tracking, let's do animal empathy. Can we not do it? Does it not want to let us do it? Oh, it's still doing bows. Bows are still in progress? That should have been done a long time ago. In fact, it looks like it's done, but it's kind of bugged out, and it won't quite finish. So maybe uh, not have done that one first. I don't think it really matters that nobody's inside of it for it to finish, though. Let's see, that, that one's still going. How about this one? Does this finish everything? Yep. Everything is fully upgraded, as far as I can tell. Yep. Okay, so we just got to get to 200, and then we can come back in here and finish the other ones off. And this one. I don't know what to do on that one. You can't cancel it once it's done, and it's not going to finish. Maybe loading out and, and coming back into the game might fix it, but again, early access, early development, they're going to have issues like that, and you're just going to have to kind of put up with it a little bit because uh, you're getting to see the game a little early. You know, and you get to actually see behind the scenes as they fix stuff. Uh, there is a way to go into, like, the beta updates, and those are a little bit more unstable sometimes, they say, but you can't do that on Steam without some kind of uh, code for it, apparently, and I've tried uh, going into it just to check it out, and it just won't let me do it, so we have to... Uh we have to kind of bear with just the updates that they have on the regular game. Maybe at some point we'll get access to that. We can actually, you know, play around with some of the new updates. But until then, I am more than more than fine with just playing this one. Uh, how are you doing? Are you doing any of the cotton ones? Where are you at, actually? Let me go in there and see if I can find them. Find where are you going? What are you doing? Why is he over here? He's not doing anything. On my way. Go over here to the cotton fields, dude. Cotton fields, please. Please. You know, something something to do with the cotton fields? I mean, what was his... What was he trying to do? Oh, I don't know. I, I really don't know on this one, guys. It's kind of bugging out on me lately. 
Might be trying to do too many things. Let's see. Grow cotton? Yeah. Grow cotton. What now? I don't know. You tell me. Let's uh let's demote him. And then uh rehire what him. Now? And maybe what that will work. Let's see what he does. Is it telling me I just don't have what I need? Okay, so now he's a cotton worker. Cotton farmer. And he's doing nothing. He's doing absolutely nothing. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's kind of throwing me off, guys. What about this building? Is this one done? See, this one's freaking out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to sell it. I'm going to get rid of it. Yes, I want to sell that building. Now, let's see. Are you going to be fixed? Huh? No? You still don't want to... Hmm. Still don't want to do it. Oh, you know what? His research is also bugged out as well. So let's go ahead and demote you. We'll sell the building. Yep. And we'll build another one apparently. Okay, so let's see. Where's that at? Weaver? Ah, it's over. No, it's in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Weaver, where are you at? Weaver's hut. And let's put that back exactly where it was. Have you finished that off? Where are you at? Hmm. You came up there. Ta -ta. Let's do that right there. Let's see. What did you get? Spiders. So there's been some more spider activity up here. That's why I've left my uh, Sir McGregor to just kind of chill up there and do what he needs to do. Let's see. What else do we have? Uh, we need to put that Hunter's Lodge back right over here. A little bit further over. There we go. Get as much space as we can out of that. Okay, so we got two things being built. Where did he go? Did he go right back? No, but I do hear him building something. Building completed. Which building? Which building did they complete? Let's look at it. A bee yard was constructed. Okay, so he was constructing the bee yard over here. Where is he at now? I don't see him. Huh. Okay, so we got a couple. Actually, we have three people over here on this one. And you can see the, the building is not really being raised anymore. I mean, it's not going up. It's just what people now? are wasting their time building it. And nothing's really getting done from it. Okay, so you're going to go construct the weaver hut. Yes, my dear. You are going to come over here and construct the uh, hunting lodge. And I won't upgrade those buildings. Uh, for now, that, that seems to be, you know, something that freaks the game out. So we'll, we'll forgo upgrading those buildings. Or, I mean, building the, uh, the research on them, at least. We'll definitely upgrade them at some point. Okay, all those are fully done. What about you? Were you fully done as well? Yes, you were. Okay. So we got those two going on. As soon as they can start doing the Weaver's Hut, we need to build... Where is it at? The tavern? And the tailor trains tailor and sews into clothes. Yeah, so we need to do that one first. This one will pick up from the storage yards. So the closer you can do to the storage yard, the better off you're going to be. It's going to pick it straight up there. Can I do it right over here? Yes, I can. And that's exactly where I'm going to do it. That way he can just walk right across. There you go. Let's see, and how many people do we have working on this thing over here? A Two building more. has been constructed. What do you got? Weaver hut and hunting lodge. Hmm. You need to come over here and do the. Really? Can I click on it? Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, it's there. It's just not letting me click on it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know on that one. Let's. Click on this. We're going to get one worker in there. Our town is under attack. Where? These stupid spiders again? Construction completed. What did it finish? B yard. Let's go to our town is under attack. You're not under attack, little dude. Huh. I don't uh, understand why it's saying our town is under attack. But as long as it's not really under attack, I'm fine with it. Let's see, okay, are you doing anything? No, you're not. You're not harvesting the cotton, dude. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. We might have to put two or three people in there just to get it to work. Let's do one more person. 
I guess I don't have anybody left? Or I might put uh, three people in there, actually. It might be everybody abandoning what they got. Let's All see. Right, Come over here, and you're going to finish. Okay. Okay, where did he go? He was here just a minute ago, and now he's gone. So he might actually be doing something now. If I'm very, very lucky. Building completed. Okay, you're going to work. What do I got going on up here? They want uh, mead. Already they want mead and clothing. No, clothing is what they want. Okay, so I have 30 clothing to start with and 25 people, so I should be okay until they can start producing some of this stuff if they start producing it. If they don't start producing some cloth here on that farm, I don't know what to tell you guys. There we go. Cotton field is being raised a little bit right there, so somebody is in there doing something. Or at least they were a minute ago. Oh, jeez. Why won't you guys do it? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh... Oh, crap. What do you do if they won't do it? I mean, you could always go to the next Mario. level. But there's a lot of stuff on this level I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let's, let's go up here and see if we can go to the next level. And maybe we can come back to this one at some point and fix some of the stuff that's going on. See, do we have to fight anybody? Nope, there's nobody left over here to fight. Something's not right. You men wait here in case more of Kenny's lackeys show up and outflank me. I'll head in and open a can of whoop ass on these rascals. Although, someone seems to have beaten me to it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go inside there. Enter the bandit caves. Yep, that's exactly where we're going. And finally, that little grinding noise in the background is not there anymore, so we can rest easy. Uh, and this guy's pretty high level. He's, I stand ready. he's level 5. He has some decent stuff on. You can see his sword has changed. Let's zoom out a little bit. We're going to take it slow. I haven't actually been into this cave yet, so I have no idea what to expect in here. I'm guessing lots and lots of bandits. Can we go up here? Can we look around? Just to get a bird's eye view of maybe where some of the other walls kind of end and where everything's at. Let's go through the cave. Actually, let's destroy some of this stuff. See if we can get some resources. Whoa, check this out. Bow, uncommon, 12 physical damage only by hunters. Club for bakers, 8 physical damage. Polished earth stone. Haven't seen that before. A war hammer for stone cutters. Cleaver for butchers. A four-leaf clover rare, usable by all. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to do. Uh, mace, eight physical damage for baker. So we're going to take all of that. Let's destroy this. Uh, do we go Tally inside? Ho. Let's go inside. Okay, so we got a wolf and two guys over here. And let's come back out here. I think we only had two guys out here. So let's take on the easier fight and get a little bit more experience. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. Die. Let's do uh, shield bash. Go ahead and stun them. We'll do our power slam, which is going to do area effect. And now they're both dead. Yes, that is exactly what we want. Dagger and nine gold. Eh, it's not too bad, but we got a little bit of experience from it. And we're going to go ahead and get some more mead and some meat pies. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Let's look down here. Anything of value? No, there's some minerals to mine, but nothing really of interest right there, right? Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay, so let's come over here and take these guys on. Three guys at once. That's going to be a little hairy, but I think we can handle it. Today let's come in, zoom in all the way. Die. Let's do our uh, our stun, and then we'll do our area effect. Oh, yes. That is fantastic. My guy is so powerful, he's just whooping these guys. Leather, raw meat, leather pauldrons. Yeah, he can wear that. He doesn't have any of those yet, so two gold and some daggers. Let's go into his inventory real quick. And go into mine, and we'll give him those uh, those shoulder pieces. Oh yeah, he's getting really outfitted, guys. I cannot wait to see how how uber this guy becomes here in a little while. What do we got? Uh, polished earth stone, epic. Let's destroy some of these other bricks and blocks and stuff. Ooh, wow. Okay, fishing rod, twenty physical damage uh, for a fishing rod, really? And anybody could use that one, apparently. Undead ring, rare, usable by all. Doesn't say what it does, though. Uh, we got another uh, roamer over here. Org tooth, and we got a uh, Herbert City Watch, 24 physical damage. Let's go we ahead and take him on while he's over here by himself. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. We'll do our shield bash so he doesn't get a little bit more damage on us. And we'll go ahead and finish him off. I'm not going to use any power on that because that's just one guy. 
I love it how they look up at us just one last time before they go down. Two gold. Uh, he can use this. Yeah, Sir Gregory, two physical damage for a cloth bracer and then, of course, some more daggers. So let's put that on him because I don't think he has a bracer just yet. Nope, he does not. He can use two of them, too. So let's see. What is this? 17 physical, 20 physical. No, it won't let him use it even though it says uh, all. Let's see. Which way should we go? Up or down? Let's go up. Double time. Because that's where that other guy came from. Okay, let's destroy some of this stuff. Get some more barrels over here. I do like the barrels. It seems like we're getting the, the best loot in the game so far. A cleaver, physical damage, four. I wonder if you can sell some of these items because I'm going to be running out of space here. Dwarven key. We got an undead ring, polished amethyst, amethyst and uh, earth stone. So let's grab that. Let's come over here and destroy these two barrels. This one as well. Come on. Let's loot. Okay. Crossbow. I wish I could use a crossbow. That would be really cool. 20 physical damage. We have some boots, so we'll give him the boots here in a second. Baker, rolling pin for a baker as well. So four, and that one's eight, so it's just an uncommon. It's a better version of it. The farmer's wife, epic. Six physical damage. Meat pie, and you got some mead right there. Okay, so, wow, we are getting some good items. Like, almost every single time we open up something, we get another item for this guy. So we're outfitting him pretty well. Let's see. I guess we're going to go once. up. Oh, this is where all the... The danger is, did he just get hit by a trap? He sure did. Oh, wow. Okay, so we need to wait for his life to go back up. And you can see, this seems to be the right way to go. So what I am going to do is I'm going to send him back down this way. And we're going to check to see what is in this area. Because this is probably going to be a dead With end. Honor. And I don't want to leave anything behind at all. Let's see, we got some barrels over here. So let's destroy that. A couple of them, actually. And that one, come on. There you go. What else? Uh, not too much mead, meat pies, and 273 gold, which is not bad at all. Wow, okay, what do we got here? We got two wolves and four guys. That is going to be a pretty rough fight. Even with my guy being as high level as he is, he may have to run away. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit Days and have him come in here. Today okay, stun. Die horribly. Yeah. <laughs> let's do area effect slam. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. That, these guys are no match for him. 11 physical armor, 3 strength, and he can use those. I don't know if that's better than what he has. Let me look at what he has in here. 11, 22. Yeah, it's not better than what he has. I'll give it to the city watch or something. For honor! Somebody's trapped in there. Let's go ahead and do uh, taunt, shield bash, and power slam. Jeez. Oh, hey! You there, over here. I've run into some difficulty. If you let me out, I'll make I will make it worth your while. Okay, what do you got? I don't know, sire. He seems rather dubious. Why is he all locked up like a criminal? Sir Gregory has a point. Why should I help you? You don't exactly look trustworthy. Just because he's in prison in a sketchy cave doesn't necessarily mean that he's not a person of integrity. For shame, Sir Gregory. Uh, you know he does look a little sketchy, but. I can't assume that he's a bad guy because he's locked up by bad guys. So I'm gonna say yeah. My apologies, my liege. I'm sure this strange-looking fellow has a perfectly legitimate reason for his incarceration. I certainly do. Do I was simply pursuing the contents of this cave when boom, someone whacked me over the head and dragged me here. I woke up to this uh, disconcerting sound you hear now. I'm not sure what is what the cause is, but I'd rather not find out. Uh, you don't seem to be human. What are you? What are you doing in this cave? You do look rather thief-like. How do I know you won't rob us if I let you out? So I'm going to ask him, uh, what is he? Because he looks like an elf or something like that, maybe? I'm not sure now is the time for genealogy lessons. But if you must know, I am a grublin. Now please let me go. What, uh, what are you doing in this cave? I told you already. I just happened to be inspecting these caves when somebody assaulted me and locked me in this cave. This thief, sire. He's clearly being evasive. Well, his business is his own, so you know I can't really blame him for that. Fine, if you must know, I was inspecting this cave to liberate it of its valuables. The bandits wouldn't miss them, or if they did, my plan was to be gone by the time they noticed anything was gone. But now I'm stuck in this extremely boring cage. You could save, uh, yeah, you could save my plan. Hit a bit, bit of a snag. So 
he had a little bit of a problem there. Appearances can be deceptive. I was simply pursuing the contents of the cave when boom. Okay, that's already said that. Uh, how do I know you won't rob us? Just because I'm a thief doesn't mean I would behave like a common brigand. Release me from this cage and I will give you my word not to steal from you. Besides, from the look of you, it would be far too easy. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's not being very complimentary of us yet. All right, thief, you're free to go, but I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. Yeah, I don't really like thieves. Nothing personal. I just disagree with the career choice. I think some time in this cage will help you reflect on the social ramifications of your larceny. So now we're gonna we're gonna release him. Thank you, human. I won't forget this. Better not, punk. Better not find you over here stealing from me. Okay, what do we got on the ground? Uh, leather and some meat. Nothing too big. Let's go over here and chop that down. Is he following us? Maybe he's gonna be uh, one of his one of our little helpers. Uh, we got gold. We got some boots or not boots, uh, pants. Fourteen, five physical on the pauldrons. That might be better than what we're wearing. I have to look at that plate belt. First one we've gotten so far. Eighteen physical damage, and a club for the baker. Three of those. Let's take that. And yeah, he is one of our dudes now, so we can give him some armor to wear. Let's give uh, five physical, four physical. Okay, so that's better than what we have on. Let's change that up. We do got a belt. Let's go ahead and throw that on there. Let's go into this guy. Can we give him some pants? No, we cannot give him a pants. How about some pauldrons? Yep, so he can wear those. Uh, we do have an extra belt. Let's see, can he wear that? No, he cannot. How about these pants? Nope. Um, weapon? What is he using for Fisher? He's uh, using a dagger. Do we have any better daggers for fishermen? I don't think we do. I think the only ones we have are the the basic ones to start with. Yeah, we've gotten good weapons for pretty much everything else other than him. So nothing to give. Okay, let's go ahead and buy your leave. Oh, no, we want to control Sir Gregory. Don't actually let's let's control him for a second. Does he have no, he doesn't have any special abilities. At least not yet. Maybe we can unlock them here in the future. 522 gold. Mine is to obey. Okay, anything else? Anybody else to rescue? Nope. Not yet. Now, we do have the salvage ability that I just kind of noticed inside the inventory there. Okay, so he's going to follow us regardless of whether I have him activated or not, or targeted, I should say. Uh, we might have to do that with some of the lesser weapons, you know, like the fishing daggers and things of that sort. But we get a lot of those, received. and if we uh, start salvaging them, I'm going to have to do that like, every single time we get it, so... Let's see, will he come down? Ah, it doesn't really matter. There's four of them. I could take four on. Let's do shield bash and power slam. And then they're all dead. Oh, man, I'm so glad I came in this when I had the, the stuff that I needed. Uh, rabbit's foot or the level, I should I should say. Ooh, what is this? Cunning tower shield of lesser poison resistance. Wow, 48 physical armor, 4% to poison resist, and 3 agility. We're definitely equipping that. And what else do we got? Plate pole. Oh my god, yeah, those are so much better than anything we got. Let's do this. Uh, where can this go? What did he have before? 48 physical? So it's it's pretty close to the exact same thing he had. But just uh, slightly better. I thought that was going to be a lot better. Five, we can do that one. There you go. And what else do you got? Anything? No, let's go to this guy. This guy can at least get the, the better ones. And can you use a shield, maybe? Nope, you cannot use a shield. Murky's rabbit's foot. Uh, and you can't use the belt, right? Let me try that. Okay. Let's get rid of these. Let's salvage those. What else can we salvage? salvage? Um, I guess that's it for now. I don't really want to get rid of anything else, to be honest. The leather, maybe? I mean, this isn't my main inventory. And we have plenty of it. Let's get rid of the meat. We have plenty of that on the outside as well. City watch, so I want to hold on to that. Undead ring. Let's put that on. It's not going to do anything that we can tell, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything at all. But it takes it out of the inventory. Clears up a little bit of space. And it's really all I need. What about this? Will this do anything? Uh, oh, I can put it in there, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, so it's uh, it's on. We did get a four-leaf clover. Where is that at? Uh, I don't see it. There it is. Can we put that somewhere in there? There it goes. Okay, so maybe it does something. Maybe it doesn't. It's activated. 
regardless, and it's taking up a le one less spot. So let's do that. What else do you got? Uh, just regular junk. Okay, we can destroy some of these pots. Let's do that. Mm, scissors, a club, pauldrons, and uh, yeah, we'll take that. Because you can have up to two of those on, I believe, at the same time for the bracers. No, nope, you can only have one. So two on that one. He doesn't have one yet, so let's go ahead and equip it for him. Where did it go? One. Yep, he can wear it. Not that he's taken any damage whatsoever yet. So I don't think he really needs it, but let's go down. We've already seen what kind of can be up there. There's a camp up there that I don't really want to take on just yet. Oh, that's not what, what I want to do. Me do. Stun. Taunt. Area effect. There we go. Need to come into this with uh, the right person equipped. And now they're all dead. Jeez. Okay, destroy some of these things. What is over here? You know what? We might actually have to go up. It may be that that's just simply another guy we can Quick rescue march. like he was. But it does show like an enemy, like a red dot. And this is the only place where it shows that. But it could just be that we got close enough to see it. So, yeah, let's come over here. Hopefully we don't miss anything because I really, really, really don't want to leave anybody behind. Or miss out on some of the really good loot that we're getting. This is the best loot that we've gotten for our guys in the entire game so far. Area effect. Almost too easy. Uh, and the other guy got a level. So let's see, plate belt, gold, some more uh, armor, you know, Sir Gregory City Watch, we'll take all of that. Let's look at what we can give him. I'm going to give him, mm, I would like to give him mine just in case he gets some spells, but he doesn't have them yet, so let's give him agility. Because it seems like as a rogue, that's exactly what you would want. As you command, no, we don't want you going up there. Honor. Come on, area effect, shield bash, it's power slam. You guys make it too easy on us. Too easy. Okay, dagger, dagger, gold, and what is this? Earthstone necklace. Okay, we'll take that and we'll look at that real quick because I'm kind of curious. It doesn't say it has any stats, but... Oh, you know what? It's going to go in this exact same spot, I think, as the other one. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Okay, so I'm going to leave the, uh, the four-leaf clover on. It seems like it's higher level. It's blue, which kind of denotes to me that it's a little bit better. This one is just a manky rabbit's foot. So let's go with the Earthstone necklace and see how well that works out. Ah, and it scrolls to down, victory. so maybe you don't actually run out of space. Time to die. Come on, die already. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Gold. Let's take that. Okay, let's Tommy come up go. this way. I, I want to wanna kind of avoid those guys for a minute. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got some more dogs. These dogs... If you play and you're not quite uh, level 5 yet, I have seen them completely wreck you on the outside. So you kind of have to watch out for that. Two physical. Does he have any boots? I don't think he does. Yeah, we didn't give him any boots yet, so let's do that. Okay. Wow, he's going to be more outfitted than my guy was when I first got in here. So come to daddy. this is definitely the place to come earlier on to get some good stuff. Just as long as you're not going to let your guy die. Because I've had Sir Gregory die before. It sucks. And it's like I said before, I don't think you get them again. Like once they die, that's it. It's pretty much they're gone. Until maybe somewhere down the road, they give you the ability to respawn those guys. But uh, don't hold your breath on it anytime soon. Because I haven't seen anything or heard anything like that in the, few, in the past. So most games like this though, when somebody like that dies, you just, the game's over. And it's, it's not like that on this one. Okay, so he finally got a breastplate, which I've been waiting for for, for some time. It's a one piece. I was waiting to see if it changed the way he looked. Nope, he still looks the same. Okay, so let's destroy this stuff and open up that crate. Come on. There you go. You can do it. What do we got? Bracer again. Not better than what I already have. What do we got in here? Ooh. Ruby Choker doesn't do anything in five gold. Okay, so nothing fantastic. That kind of sucks. I was expecting something really good in there. Anybody over here? Hey, you guys. Oh, here we go. We shall engage. Area effect. I don't think I even need to do the stun. The stun is just there for me to not take that, that much damage. And these guys aren't doing jack to me. So I think I'm just going to kill these guys off. There we go. Gold and dagger. Nope. Nothing I valuable. To obey. Okay, so that's another way to go. Let's go ahead and clear up some of these boxes. 
Wow, this is a big, big, confusing tunnel if you go down the wrong path. Ooh, we got some gloves. Eight physical. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and put that on. I don't think we've gotten any gloves yet either. Yep, and now he has a full outfit, guys. He is completely and totally equipped. Orders received. Go through the gate. Oh, he's going to have to bust it down, huh? How long does it... Oh, does he need a key? No, I guess maybe he doesn't need a key. What do you got down here, guys? Anything? Can't loot... Oh, okay, so this is the, the route back to the uh, the bottom. This is going back up. Quick march! Okay, we're going to keep going in this direction, even though we might want to go down. Wow. Okay, we got some stuff. Makey Rabbit's Foot. This one's a little bit better. The other one was white. This one's green. We got a buckle. Sir Gregory only. 29 physical damage. Meat pie. We got some uh, some bows. Definitely seen those before, but these are a little bit better. Tw uh, 12 physical damage for 150 range. 5 physical damage, 150 range. Bronze ring. Polished earth stone. Dagger. Orc tooth. Orc tooth. Uh, bow, which is not bad. That's actually really nice. 48 physical damage. 150 range. A, a sapphire charm. Sword. And another glove. So we're going to take that glove. And give it to this guy. Hopefully he can wear it. Now he can't wear everything. But I'm guessing he can wear it. Yeah, there we go. Anything that's like cloth and leather seems to be perfectly fine for Your him. Orders. Ooh, we got some more stuff in there. We didn't loot club, bow, and another sword. But not quite as good as what I have already. Honor. Let's keep going. Oh, we got some roaming God, dogs. Be very, very careful on that one. If you're coming up here and you're not uh, ready for a fight. These guys could be very, very disastrous to you, finding them along the way. Uh, not too much. Leather and meat. Mm, we're going to have to go down the center. We'll take a little bit of damage. That's all right. We need the weapon. Right, and he's dead. Holy crap. He died in one hit. Jeez, that sucks. Okay, so we got some pants. Ah, oh, he's back up. So we got some leather pants. We got some leather cap. A ruby choker and some gold. So let's take that. Let's me turn the camera angle. Yep, there's some jars in there. Oh, I was worried. I thought he was going to die for real and just be gone. Pumpkin? Pumpkins provide nutrition as part of a balanced diet. Okay, mead and uh, some meat pies. Okay, so let's take that. At once. Don't die. Oh, he's dead. Minus 100 experience points. Okay, so you lose experience points when your character dies. Sir McGregor, though, or Sir Gregor, Gregory, I should say, when he dies, he just dies. He's gone completely. He never comes back. Maybe in this one, that's not the case, but uh, in the actual level level, when you're out there building your towns and stuff like that, that is definitely the case. Let's do area effect here, now that we got all of them on us. Oh, yeah. And I got a level. Finally, and five leather, 21 meat. What are we going to put it into? Let's do... Uh, hmm, I don't know. Let's do one into strength, maybe? That way he hits a little bit harder. We can try that out. Onward. Let's see. Have we gone down this way? No, we have not. I mean, we've gone down a little bit, but we haven't gone down the whole way. There's there's definitely something over here in this little... Or maybe there isn't. Okay, let's come back. What is over here that's red? I keep seeing it pop up. It's the other way we didn't go, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll definitely come down to that here in a, in a minute. Find the bandit hidden cave front. Confront Kenny. We need to be very careful. If Double I find Kenny, time. I'm going back. Oh, very, very big room. Is that Kenny? I don't think that's Kenny. No, that's Kenny over there being suffocated. Okay, so we're going back. We'll come back to this in a minute, guys. Let's tell our guys to go all the way back down here. Find out what's in this cave. Could just be extra loot. I don't care. I want the extra loot. I want everything this cave can give me and I'm loving it I like it if you ever played games like command and conquer they have levels where you fight obviously and then levels where you uh, you build your bases but the the ones where you can kind of come in with uh, what's her name was it Jane or something like that uh, Sonia Sonia something like that and you uh, got to do just kind of like a solo gameplay of one character you got to be very careful got to be very uh, strategic about your actions otherwise you could lose her and the game's over where that level is over and you have to start over again. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Kind of brings you a little closer to your main character. Gets you a little couple, maybe a few more levels. And gives you the ability to kind of bond to it. So it's not just a, a character that you have, but something that you've gone through experiences with. And you know 
his abilities rather well because when you're out there fighting in the real world you have the ability to bring other soldiers with you you have the ability to bring little peons with you or use your towers to take things out and so you might not get very familiar with this character and his abilities in fact you may not even use him at all because you have those other options this one forces you to use him and get uh just a feel for how he works i think that's it right that's nothing over here yep that's it that's Wow, okay. So I should have come down here to begin with. Let's come on, let's send them back up here. Nice, nice little run. Get you guys back into this room. And this guy, you know, he kind of deserves to be strangled a little bit. You know, I'm sure this is somebody we either will have to fight or somebody who will join our group. But I can't really say I have a lot of sympathy for this guy because he's been terrorizing the, uh, the neighbors for a long time now and making their life a little uh, miserable. So... I'm fine with him being, you know, punished a little bit more than uh, we'll probably do because I don't want to kill him. Let me look at my shield real quick because that's something we got down here. And you can see it did change the look of it. And it looks like he got a breastplate too. Yeah, you can see the breastplate has changed, just not his sleeves. Because I guess they want to keep that look going on with him for that. Okay, let's see. Can we, we can destroy some of these boxes? Ah, too late. <laughs> Should have some like choking noise coming from this. I'm sure they're gonna add that Ooh. into the game. Why? Kenny, you remember me, don't you? Or maybe you remember my husband Brom before you killed him and burned down our farm. What? No, that was an accident. Never supposed to. <coughs> I have waited years for this moment, Kenny. Feel free to start screaming any time. No, please, you don't understand. Enough talking. Your pitiful life is over and your soul will soon be another worker for the factory. Welcome to your eternity. No! She killed Kenny. That's actually quite convenient. Well, hello there. I'm both worried and intrigued by the efficient manner in which you dispatched our quarry. Uh, can I interest you in a pint of the tavern? No, you cannot. A walk down by the river? No. Uh, perhaps a simple... <laughs> if you make one more suggestion, I will rip out your tongue and feed it to you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You certainly have quite the imagination. Perhaps another time, then. Oh, which isn't a suggestion so much as a statement. Yes, I am stating perhaps another time. <sighs> While I don't appreciate your friend's advances, I do appreciate that you didn't intervene while I dealt with a personal matter. We could use someone with your level of discretion. Talk to Mordrick at the factory if you're interested in making some money. Nice. Well, it seems that Kenny buggered himself, saving me the job. I wonder what kind of job that intriguing woman is offering. Perhaps we should investigate, if only so she has the pleasure of seeing me again. I feel like we really hit it off there. <laughs> I do love how they said you killed Kenny. I was thinking of South Park the whole time they were doing that. I, I don't know if they were going for that. Uh, there's no like little hints that they were. He's not wearing like a little jumper or anything like that. There's no little doll in the background or something that would kind of imply that's what they were going for. But uh, you know, anytime anybody says you kill Kenny, it's kind of hard not to think of that show. Okay, so now we can look around. We can go ahead and uh, get everything this guy has to offer because I'm pretty sure he's gonna have some pretty good loot. You know, this guy's been robbing and stealing from uh, just everybody and anybody he can get his hands on bow let's see a uh, pitchfork scissors cloth belt bra or yeah, yeah we don't really need any of this sapphire charm again i really wish i knew what those things did if they had some kind of description or if we get to enchant them later recipes recipes are not working in the game yet let's see leather gloves warhammer Gold. I don't think that Warhammer is better than what I have, but I'll look at all the loot as soon as we're done and see if we get anything good. Those are definitely better than what I'm wearing. Broken bottle, nine physical damage to innkeepers. Uh, the sense of humor that they put into the game is pretty funny. Uh, the fact that 
innkeepers have a broken bottle. Like, that seems very, you know, apt to what they might actually have. Three physical damage. Let's see. Let's loot what he had. 183 gold on him. That's all that guy did? No. Oh, well, may hopefully he has something better in his chest. Come on. Give me some good stuff. Ooh, yes. Plate chest. We also got some leather pauldrons, leather bracers, and some gold. Let's go ahead and look at this. What do we got over here? Pumpkins, meat pies, and meat. So he had plenty of food on him. He wasn't going hungry anytime soon. Let's go ahead and smash some more of this stuff. What do we got? Gold, bronze ring, orc tooth, uh, undead ring, and some meat pies. That's pretty much it, guys. We've, we've gotten everything out of this. Let's take a minute real quick and look at the loot that we got. See if we got anything better than what this guy's wearing. Now, his gloves are 8 physical damage, and these are 10. So you're going to get an upgrade on that one. 16. That's already 26, so that's better than what I'm wearing. I mean, I have better on my head, actually. or Whatever, I have better on my chest. 4 physical armor plus 1 to my mind. 3 physical, no, so that's not better. Mm, undead ring, we already have those equipped. Bracer. Three and two, so that is better. Let's go ahead and put that on. Gloves, eight. Yeah, we already looked at that. Okay, so let's go over to him. He needs a little bit of everything. Gloves are four, and we have uh, eight on here, so let's give him that. We can give him a, a hat because he has no hat at all. Hopefully, he'll wear this chest piece. Nope, he will not. One physical, two physical, so you're going to wear that. We're going to give you a ring. That way you can at least have something equipped. Cloth belt. You will wear that. Okay, good. What about this? Pitchfork? No. Damage. Will you do a bow? Still will not do a bow. What about this? Won't do that either. Hmm. What about pants? We can give you some pants. And that was, what, three? And this is five. Okay, so we got something even better than that. Rings. Uh, we can go ahead and give him a ring. Just a regular one. Doesn't do anything, but it's there. And we don't have a chess piece for him yet. Hmm. Yep. That was the last thing we got with uh, Sir Gregory, so I'm not surprised we don't have a chess, a chess piece for him. Quick march. And now let's head on out. And we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Again, I do want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy this series, definitely hit that like button, subscribe. It helps the channel grow more than I could ever say. But more than that, again... Definitely support the publishers and games that you enjoy the most. That's how you're going to get future games of that genre in the in the future. In the future, I should say, and uh, you know it's just going to help them out as well because they are producing and creating something that you are enjoying and something that you want to see more of. So go on to Steam, hit that like button on there. Definitely l write a little review, even if it's something as simple as saying, "Hey, I enjoy this game greatly." Let's go ahead and travel out, and uh, you know. Let them know what things you might want to add into it, things you might want to change. They are definitely paying attention to what people have to say about it so far and taking that into consideration. Who in the world is... What is he? Is that a tree? Greetings, village people. I represent the esteemed leader of the Glade Folk, Queen Nara. Our spies have informed us that our despicable neighbors have contacted you about working with them. The withering dead are a pox on the land and should be treated as such. We strongly advise you to ignore their request. You are cautiously invited to speak with Her Majesty in the Tangled Court to discuss possible cooperation. It is quite the honor to be called to the court. I would not keep her waiting. All right, so on the next episode, we're going to have to decide which side factions are we going to be working with. At the ready! And uh, I don't know just yet. I don't know which one we should go with. So definitely leave your comments down below so we can figure that out. And as I said before, now that we're at 200 on our culture, we'll be able to upgrade some of these buildings. As you can see right here, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. That one's upgrading right now. And you can see it has a different look to it. So... We're going to be getting more people in here, and we're going to be able to do a lot more stuff. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.